Welcome back to Do It Myself Garage. We're going to take a little bit of a break from working on the GTO to put together a bike for my granddaughter. All right, let's get this thing open. I did notice on this end here there's something poking out a little bit. Just kind of scratched my table with it, to be honest. Um, sorry about that. This camera doesn't have the widest view range, which is kind of nice sometimes, and other times I wish it would look like a GoPro. All right, there we go. Let's get you up a little higher. All right, open up the top of the box. Lots of stuff in here. Let's just pull it all out. I'm gonna try to, try to assemble this on the table here. Uh, we'll see how this works. Everything's says Petunia. <laughs> All right, let me grab the instruction box here or the instruction book. It is in here pretty solid. Move you over a little bit. I'm gonna turn the camera down here, about like that. So it's in here. Attach the handlebars. I'm just gonna cut. There's a little zip tie on there. Cut that little guy off. Owner's manual kids bike. Okay. And it's taped shut. I imagine there's a. Assembly. Here it is. Tells you all about safety the first couple pages, which is fine. Parts identification has a whole list of the parts identification in here. And the next page uh, assembly tools required. Four, five, six, and eight millimeter Allen wrenches, nine, 10, 14, and 15 millimeter open and box in wrenches, a pair of pliers with cable cutting ability, and a Phillips head screwdriver. So let me go grab those tools real quick, and then we'll come back to this. Okay, uh, getting started. Remove the straps to protect the packaging from the bicycle. Do not discard any, pack discard any packaging material. So I'm going to remove all of the stuff from this, get it all out of it. It's plastic. Uh, I'm going to work really fast. Unfortunately, these instructions look like they are generic, so this is not going to be uh, a one-to-one -one, um, instruction manual for this one. Okay, it looks like this one's taking the six millimeter. So I dropped it down in there. Don't have to do anything with this bolt here. Drop it on there with all of it together, but loosened. And since the girls are pretty short, 
I'm going to run it pretty close to the bottom for the height adjustment. Okay. This one does not have a uh, forward and back adjustment on, on this piece here. There's no forward and back adjustment. Okay, so what I want to do, don't tighten this, uh, make it a little easier to see what I'm doing here. I've got this Allen in here, and I'm trying to adjust it so the handlebars are lined up with the, uh, with the front fork here. Um, I'm going to tighten it, and I'll probably end up having to uh, adjust that later. Um, if it's not exactly straight. Okay, so that part did not match uh, the instructions that they show here. The picture's different, everything. It shows cables going up, and there's no there's no cables going up. The cables are are right here. Um, there's no brake cables or nothing. There's a little bell on here, and it is a pretty sure this is a coaster brake where you pedal. And backwards is the brake so there is no there are no cables on the upper handlebar and also the handlebar it shows handlebar binder bolts well there's no handlebar binder bolts on this this is the welded handlebar so it uh, seems to be a fairly generic uh, assembly instructions um, holding the fork use a six millimeter Allen Loosen the stem pinch bolt, slide the handlebar assembly into the steering tube, line in center, and tighten. Uh, place the top cap on the top of the steer tube. Certain tighten the top cap bolt until the stock do not over tighten. And I don't have a top cap bolt up here. I mean, the only bolt you have is this one. So they're showing a bunch of other stuff to assemble, but that's for a different bike. Um, it does not have handlebar brakes, so. They're showing front brake cable, but this does not have a handlebar brakes. This is a coaster brake on here. So you can skip over that if yours does not have the handlebar brakes. Same thing here. There's no there's no brakes to assemble on the uh, shows here show brakes to assemble on the wheel. No, nope, nothing there. Uh, so now they want me to attach the front wheel. Well, I can do that. I can definitely do that. Is there uh, forward or reverse on this? Rotation. So a lot of these little bikes and stuff will have it says rotation this way. So obviously it's going to rotate forward. So we want it to go this way. All right. I'm going to start over again on this because I almost put it together wrong. Um, so assembling the front wheel. It's the next page here. And I started on this and. Um, They have a couple of different versions of this. Axle nut, step retaining washer, uh, and fork drop out. So this washer, it goes on the inside between the forks and the axle. The other, the other washer that has this little retaining tab on it goes into this hole on the axle and then your nut goes on the outside of that. You'll notice when you do this, the spacing is perfect. It's not gonna, it's not gonna pull the axle in or anything. It's everything is lined up perfectly. Um, and the, the wheel looks to be nice and centered. We're all good to go. Um, no, the flat side of the step washer must be facing out. Um, what they're talking about here is they, they have a couple different versions of this thing. Um, so yeah, here's the one with the retaining clip washer inserted into the dropout hole. So on this, on this particular picture, then they show it correctly. Nutted with clip retaining washer. So there's multiple versions of it shown here. So look to see which one you have. This one has just a washer and the washer with the little clip. When you look at the instructions, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, now it's going to say, uh, place two outer axle nuts and tighten evenly. Tighten one side partway, then tighten the other. And repeat until two sides are tightened securely. Be sure that the wheel remains centered between the forks. Um, 
So here we go. We should be able to. Uh, must be the larger one. Tighten one and then the other, but they both are right-handed threads. Um, there's not a right and a left on this like there is on the pedals. There we go. All together. Huh, is that slop on the steering wheel up here? I don't like that. Okay, so as I was playing with the wheel here, I noticed that there was some slop in the fork. Okay, so what I did, took this nut and washer off the top here. Okay, then you've got this piece here, and this piece just goes finger tight. But it was loose, so whoever pre-assembled this didn't get it on there very good, and there was wobble. And that wobble was, you know, front to back, and that would have worn this out very quickly. There's actually a bearing in here. And so, it's just finger tight, but it was about, I don't know if you can tell how much that's moving, but it was quite loose. So I just brought this down, and now it still, still turns, okay, but... The, the wobble's gone, okay? Then you bring this nut and washer down. And they lock this into place. And there's actually a groove in here for this washer so that when you tighten this nut that you don't, uh, that you don't affect the tightness of this. So I had to go get a very large crescent wrench now, this particular bicycle also has a cable that runs along here, and there's this, this piece back here. What that is, it's, it's for training your kids how to ride a bike, and so it allows the adult behind them to turn the steering wheel um, for training. I don't know how effective that is. I always just, we always just taught kids about putting the training wheels on, and they figured it out. So, we'll see. Maybe that does help. Uh, but so there is going to be some drag from these cables going back and forth. Um, so keep that in mind. So that's real good. There's no wobble now. I'm going to put the steering wheel back on. I was really concerned about that wobble though. That was not right. So now she's together proper. Again, I'm going to install this steering wheel almost to the bottom. Because they're pretty short munchkins you don't have to go super tight with this bolt uh, the one on top here because the way it pinches that's not going to come out so okay that's nice and solid so now we've got the wheel on I fixed the axles or the steering column here so it's not going to be loose let's see what our next item is on the list um Attaching the seat. This one's pretty easy. This is pretty much the same for all bicycle seats. Um, slide your, well, I can just turn the bike around. Show you what we got going on here. So you got this little pinch clamp here. Notice when I loose, when I, when I pulled that open, it loosened, loosened up. So just put the seat down in there, okay? And then wherever, wherever you tighten this, okay? That should, if it's going tight enough, it should clamp the seat down. If it doesn't, give it a spin or two. Okay. And when you push it down, it should squeeze the bar together enough that the seat doesn't move. You can have a little movement left to right, but you don't want it going up and down. So I'm going to give it just a little bit more and just kind of watch where you do the tightening it to. Um, it, you don't have to... You can turn the head on the other side, so this clamp could end up wherever you want it to. So if it ends up being in like an inconvenient place, like like up here, you know, obviously that's bad, right? That's going to be in the way. That's not going to work. So you can turn this thing, so you can have the clamp wherever you want it. 
and prefer to have either down or back. Uh, we'll go back. Don't want to be in the way of that guide if, you, if you're going to use that for teaching your kids. And see, it's going to hit that, so that's probably not going to lock the best. Let's go down. Okay, it's still not the tightest. We'll go just a little bit tighter. And ah, there we go. Again, the seat's not going to be super tight. I mean, you can get ridiculous on that, but you don't want to strip these out. But that's that's plenty good. All right, seats on there. What's next according to the instructions? Okay, pedals. Warning, warning, warning. Attachment of the incorrect pedal into a crank arm can strip pedal threads. Visually match right and left stickers. Yes. So as I mentioned before, the pedals, actually, they went ahead and marked them here, left and right. Okay. So pay, you know, if you need to leave the stickers on there till you get them on there, that's fine. This is the right hand one. And it will have right-handed threads. I believe that's the 15 millimeter for that one. Yep, 15 millimeter. And run that baby all the way down until she bottoms up. If a person wanted to, you could put a little bit of thread locker on here if you're really concerned. For a kid's bike, probably not a, not a big issue. But if you're concerned, you can throw a little like blue thread locker on there. Wouldn't hurt none. Just give it a little snug. That's all you need. It'll automatically tighten as they pedal. That's why they have left and right with different threads. So this one's going to be left-handed. Notice how I'm going around the left way. And it's actually, it's actually tightening, tightening it. So... This is a left-handed thread on the left-hand side. Older people have ever owned a Chrysler or a Plymouth from the 50s. <laughs> left-handed left-handed lug nuts on the left-handed side of the, on the left side of the car. Same thing here, so I got to tighten this down. Just snug. That's all it takes, okay? Looks like the the middle axle shaft is in there really good. If I didn't like that, I would loosen that up and grease that too. Uh, don't be afraid to look some stuff up if you're really not sure. Training wheels. <laughs> now, to be quite honest, if I had written instructions, I would have had the training wheels be the first thing to put on. And the reason being is that uh, the bike would have been standing up this whole time. I would not be fighting it. But that's me. I didn't write the instructions. I'm just saying, if I had written them, that's how it would be. Okay, so this rear, this rear axle, okay, has this little piece. See that little, see that little tab on there? That's got to go into the slot. Same thing. It keeps the, it keeps the, the nuts from unscrewing themselves. Okay. So these little protective pieces here, I screwed them out. They're just there so stuff doesn't get damaged in the box. They pull right off. Now, the only right, left-handed, right-handed thread is on the pedals. Everything else is right-handed threads on here, okay? At least so far. Haven't run anything else that wasn't. Okay. So... on here these are not marked right or left hand not a problem they really shouldn't need any grease or anything they're just plastic put the washer on there put the nut on there same thing over here Again, make sure that that inside uh, washer that has a tab on it is sitting between the rails so that it that, that keeps everything from spinning from you driving. Okay, this is going to be the 14s. Nope. So far, I haven't used the 14 millimeter at all. It's all been 15s. Okay, so let's 
put those on there. Snug. Snug. So the, the bolts that hold the wheel on are already on there. These are only for the uh, training wheels. The other bolt that's in there, it's already holding the axle on there. You know, that's already all set. Okay. Okay, so this piece here is bent. Okay, it was rubbing the tire. I don't know if you heard that when I pedaled it. But now, nice and quiet. It's actually cracked. It's actually a crack in it right here. Or is it a seam? Uh, hard to tell. Sure looks like a crack to me. So that's kind of, that's kind of cheapy, but good enough for kids' to spike, I guess. Okay, so apparently there's multiple style of uh, training wheels. Just follow the instructions if yours isn't really straightforward how to put on. These were, and uh, there's also an adjustment on the height. I just put them on right here on the table. Um, so it's nice and stable. What you can do is your child is starting to learn a little bit more. Uh, or if it seems like they're having a hard time, you can loosen this nut up and you can run this brace up. So they're forced to balance a little bit more. So they're only three and a half. I'm not worried about them learning how to balance yet. Uh, so we'll keep it right on the ground, nice and flat. Um, but if you notice that they're having problems, uh, you could run that up a little bit and then it'll be more tippy. Uh, or the other way, if you notice that they're too tippy, make sure you put it on a flat surface, install them uh, so it's a little more stable, Which, whichever, whichever you're in the need of. Okay, it goes through a whole bunch of stuff on here on, adjust, on adjusting brakes, on the ones that have the handlebar brakes. So again, whatever model you have, you'll have to go through and adjust. I apologize, I won't be covering that because this bike does not have that. Um, it shows how to adjust your bottom bottom wheel for the uh, uh, for the for the axle or for the axle for the chain and all that. Um, if you have to take that apart and if you've never done it before, it shows here how to do all of that. All right. So apparently, this one goes on with the petunias to the back. So I did that part incorrectly. It wasn't quite lining up and then I figured out why. Get a wrench on there. There we go. Now that lines up. All right, that's about it. Ring that bell. <laughs> All right, well, she's, she's ready to go for the girls. Uh, they'll be here tomorrow. Um, pretty pretty straightforward assembly, although the assembly instructions are, are somewhat generic, so they're for multiple different bicycles. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty sharp. I think the girls will like that. Might have a little problem figuring out the pedaling at first. Like, comment, subscribe, all that great thing. I appreciate everybody watching the videos of the stuff I've been putting together for the granddaughters. Um, I'll get the uh, Petunia pack and the water bottle on here and I'll show you that the next uh, in the next video. Thanks again. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.